Yes, I've been rather harsh on the previous entries in the Atelier series, and for good reason. They weren't really that good. They skimped on the RPG elements in favor of... blushing. Pandering to the hardcore otaku set, they tasked the player with... Let's face it, tolerating the premise for as long as possible. Their quest to fulfill enemies to beat down and then you make a boat. Atelier Meruru is much the same, at least at a first glance. Same slew of girls, same constant blushing, same alchemy-heavy gameplay. But Meruru has a trick up her sleeve. When the haters deride you for being derivative Moe Schlock, be Act Razor. When the Princess of Arles annoys her father with her relentless pursuit of alchemy, His Majesty gets the bright idea to give her an ultimatum. Develop the kingdom into a flourishing metropolis in the five years before they merge with Arland, or give up alchemy altogether. There's a logical disconnect here, not the least of which involves handing over urban planning to a 15-year-old. But herein lies the reason Meruru succeeds where Rorona and Totori failed. You've got a distinct goal, you know your time limit, and your success or failure is as much a matter of your efficiency as it is your ability to grind levels. Now you're not just pounding out materials to satisfy a bureaucrat, you're creating the sales and foundation for a windmill complex, or clearing out a forest to increase farmland. The familiar material gathering system returns, though now the goods available in a given region are affected not only by geography, but by the work you've put into developing that area. By competing development quests, you earn points to spend on municipal facilities, which boost your popularity, population, and pop you other bonuses. Simply requisition your propaganda machines from glorious across leader El Parazzo, and all will be well. Heck, even the RPG mechanics, which I've often derided as overly simplistic and utterly bolted on, feel a little bit fresher. Animations are smoother, monsters are actually positioned such that area attacks are feasible, and the initiative tracker at the right gives more data as to relative time. Ever since Verona, it's felt like the Atelier games have been slowly crawling back to the gold standard established in its side series, Monokemia. Combine this with the fixed-length, efficiency-centric challenge, reminiscent of the woefully underrated Atelier Annie for the DS, and you have a game that puts its hooks into you pretty much immediately, keeps you busy until the very end, and immediately entices you to pull a new Game Plus and try to do it even better this next time. It even offers you a fast-forward button on subsequent playthroughs for blowing through the interminable flushed face vignettes. The end of the Arlen Saga can stand on its own as a worthwhile game. Let's just hope Aisha takes this inspiration and runs with it. <laughs>